with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's meteorologist Jennifer Schaff. So far, it's been a quiet Monday. We had some sunshine this morning, just the increasing clouds this afternoon, but have not seen any flurries yet. WLWT radar still dry across the entire tri-state. I think we have a couple more hours of dry conditions. The clouds are thickening, though. 20 degrees, the current temperature, a west wind at 7 miles an hour. Wind chill right now at 11 degrees, and I think we'll keep that wind chill in the lower teens, maybe some upper single digits during the late evening. The winds stay up. They won't let up until late tonight into tomorrow morning. It will be a cold and snowy setup in time. Temperatures only dropping off a few more degrees for the late evening and overnight. At 10 o'clock, a few flurries or light snow showers approaching, especially our western counties. By 2 a.m., the heaviest snow coming down, and at 6 a.m., we have the snow showers starting to push out tomorrow morning. That temperature is pretty steady throughout the event. Satellite and radar showing our snow heading into Illinois at this point, trying to bring a few flurries to Indiana, but probably not making it to the ground quite yet. We'll wait until the heavier bands come in, and that will help saturate, and we will eventually see snow showers making it to the the ground probably after 10 and 11 o'clock tonight, mainly the northern half of the tri state. We're going to be clipped by this, but it's going to be the southern edge of the system that'll be producing the highest rate of snowfall, and we'll see those highest snowfall totals. And so it does look like some of those high totals will be in the northern part of our tri state. On the future cast, widespread snow sliding into the tri state, the low pressure moving overhead. 4 to 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And so on the back edge of it, we start to taper those snow showers pretty quickly. And then the cold air comes in behind the system. That'll be the second part of the story because we do have dangerous uh, conditions for cold weather for Tuesday as well as Wednesday and then even into Thursday. We're talking wind chills down the single digits, prolonged air temperatures likely below zero, uh, at least one if not two mornings. Heading into Wednesday, the cold air is still around. It's cold enough to actually grab some moisture from the Great Lakes and send in lake effect snow showers, possibly even into the tri-state. So we do linger a couple of snow showers tomorrow afternoon and Wednesday afternoon, but the accumulating snowfall will have ended by then. I think that comes to an end early tomorrow morning. Here's the timeline on our future cast at 10 o'clock tonight. The snow's building in for our Indiana counties already, trying to make it to downtown Metro. Sliding east after midnight, the darker blue, the heaviest snow coming down, could see rates of one inch an hour out of this. So reduced visibility, a quick covering on roadways. It'll be hard for crews to keep up through the overnight. But once the snow starts to taper after four and five o'clock tomorrow morning, should get a better handle on it. It's lifting off to the northeast. If you're an early morning commuter, it still may be snowing, especially if you live off to the north. If you're a late morning commuter by seven and eight o'clock, I think the snow has already fallen, but we will have some blowing snow may blow back across some of the roadways. Snow totals expected about one to two inches for the metro. Our northern counties, three to four inches. We'll keep a close eye because it's such a cold air mass with this snow. It's only going to take a little bit of moisture to get a fluffy uh, snow to add up to those totals. So four inches may be a touch conservative. We may end up seeing a couple of totals higher than that. The computer models don't want to go too much higher than that, but they're probably underestimating that cold air. So the raw output for the computer model, notice it's coming in at about two inches for Cincinnati International Airport. Compare that to Wilmington, which is up in Clinton County, farther north, likely going to see a higher snowfall total. The computer model is doing a good job taking that number, those numbers higher, coming in at around three to four inches. And again, we may see some isolated totals a little bit higher. The heaviest snow will be gone by the morning commute, but we'll still have some blowing and drifting snow a possibility through the day tomorrow. It will be a fluffy snow, could lead to some higher totals. The record for tomorrow is three and a half inches. Does not look like the International Airport will beat that, but I do think we'll see a couple inches on the ground. Tonight we drop off to 18 for a low. Snow showers expected, heavy at times. Tomorrow some flurries still flying at 29. And bitter cold Wednesday 11, Thursday 17. We start to come out of the deep freeze. Late in the forecast, above freezing, at least some mid 30s and a mix of rain and snow Sunday and Monday. Kids are all saying.